This year, the RVHS boys were hard at work during the regular season. I interviewed a couple of the players and their coach to see what their season was like and what struggles they faced. Uh, during the season, our biggest struggle, I would have to say, is uh, scoring goals. I mean, defensively, we're really strong, and in the midfield, we can complete a lot of passes, but I'd say we get about 35 shots in a game, and we score about maybe a tenth of them. Um, I think the, the primary issue for the team was belief, uh, the fact that uh, as you enter every match, you have a chance to win, and this group had a chance to win in every match. I'm not sure if stepping out on the pitch uh, right before the whistle blows, uh, they believed that. So sometimes they kind of had to find their way into matches uh, and gradually uh, develop that confidence. I had also asked the team on what they had improved on since last season. Um, just a record speaks. Uh, last year we lost, we got our butts handed to us by Ben and this year we tied to Ben High, Mount View, and we still lost to Summit, but we managed to get a good goal against them. So it wasn't too bad. Summit from last year was just our overall level of soccer. I think uh, a lot of guys worked hard all summer and got a lot better actually playing soccer rather than just being good athletes. So I think that really helped this year. The primary improvement was on the uh, defensive side of things. Um, you know, there are, there are three aspects to soccer. One is when you've got the ball, uh, one is when you don't have the ball when you're defending, and then the third one um, is usually set pieces or when the ball is dead, when you're transitioning. Um, we were good in possession, we were good on set pieces, um, but we concentrated through the first two months of this season on being a little bit harder to break down. My final question for the team was what were they expecting for the next season? I think the future is bright for Ridgeview soccer. I think we're going to continue to be the best soccer team in Redmond, at least, and we'll get all the best soccer players from Redmond. And I think we're going to compete in 5A next year, and uh, Ben schools better look out. Beating a Ben school and making a run into the playoffs next year. And some people are going to say, well, wait a minute, you got nine or ten seniors that are gone. What are you going to do? Uh, I firmly believe that we've got players uh, in Dakota Sanders and Eddie Vargas and Malachi Stahlberg and Dakota Curtis and TJ Smith. You know, we've built a program here. We got 45 some players. So, um, you know, do they believe that they can beat Ben teams from the opening whistle in the fall? We'll find out. Even though the Ravens didn't get their state title, they still put up a good fight and were able to have an excellent season. This is Anthony Estrada signing off for the Ravens Report.